YouTube, what's going on? Today, we're going to be taking a look at the lightest 700 pound bencher, right? And this is Joseph Tumorello. If you don't follow him already, go ahead, follow him, right? Just looking from his page, he already looks huge in the profile picture. He's got 1% to 1% in his bio. He's 28 and his stats, six foot one, 242. I know that he gets up towards more of the 260s when he goes for his heavy bench attempts. And now I've heard of Joseph for probably a year, year and a half now, ever since like Larry started posting him. But uh, Joseph is a beast, right? This dude has been, I mean, super, super nice guy too. But this dude has been benching like 600, 500 pounds for many, many years now, right? And uh, he knows what he's doing. Now, something that else that I really like about Joseph is they ask him like, how do you train? You know, what, like you got a coach, how does this work? And his answer on a podcast, or not podcast, a YouTube video about him, his answer was, I basically go to the gym and do what I feel like, right? So that, I, I think that that's just pretty badass, right? It's no joke the type of lift, the type of weight that this guy is lifting, and uh, he's an absolute beast. So we're just going to dive into why you clicked on the video, the lightest man, I believe, to bench 700 pounds. I believe he weighed about 260 pounds in this, and he did it. Only elbow wraps, not even wrist wraps. That's how strong this guy is. So take a look at this. 700-pound bench PR, touch and go. And, I mean, he locks it out with one freaking spotter. Jack, dude, absolute monster, right? So, boom, there you have it. Uh, he had the elbow wraps. Huge, right? And uh, so he's team PR, personal record, this Larry Wheels brand. Uh, if we scroll down here, a lot of people know him more for his uh, insane like drop down sets. I don't even know. Yeah, drop sets. This is what you call it. So if you check this out, 34 million views he's got on this video over here. And if you scroll down more, right, I mean, his Larson presses get some views, everything like that. But if we find another drop set, right, the, I mean, these drop set videos get huge amount of views. I don't, I don't even know why. I think it might be because they're longer, right? So 600-pound pause drop set, 13 million views, uh, 3 million views on his incline drop set, right? And uh, this dude is freaking huge. I mean, take a look at this guy's chest right here. His shoulders are boulders. Uh, he told me he, he is, like, bench only for the most part. He doesn't squat or deadlift. And uh, what I find even more crazy about him and the way he lifts, too, is all this stuff that he's doing is at a freaking commercial gym, right? Now, it's obviously not like your LA Fitness or, I mean, it says Life Fitness on the thing. I don't exactly know what type of gym this is that he's at. I think it's a nicer gym, but he's still doing this at a commercial gym, which is just crazy to me, right? And so... Like everybody that benches a lot of weight, people are going to hate. People are going to have critiques on him. And the number one critique that I see is the elbow wrap bounce, right? Same thing that I do, right? Whenever I put on elbow wraps, it's the elbow wrap bounce, right? So check this out. We're going to go to 600 Larson drop set. You know, he, he takes it down toward a little bit faster at the bottom, and the bar gets a ton of whip on it. He catches his position, boom, right? A lot of people say... That this is like, eh, I don't know, this is like not real lifting, right? That's that's like what they'll claim this is. Because the elbow wraps, whatever, the bounce. So if we go into his comments, a lot of them will be, uh, a lot of them will be nice. But if you keep on going and you find like some other videos, people will be talking crap about it every now and then. But but there's just no way you can even argue with this, right? People, people want to claim fake plates. I'll explain that in a second. Um, he's super legit, right? So what I just said about fake plates. He went, I'm not sure what gym this was, but he went out to, uh, he said, he's going to beat this when he starts his bulk in June. So he had his elbow wraps on here, right? So not super competition standard, but just check this out. Just watch this video. This is not his home gym, right? So there's no way these could be fake plates. I think this is why he also went out to do this. And uh, check this check this out real quick 675 freaking pause dude and that's not even a baby pause that's a real pause press that's a real pause nobody can say anything about that to him joseph tumorello this dude's a real deal also people that want to say like these elbow wraps this and that whatever if you go over to his open powerlifting, he has done meets before right i mean 2019 he was still a junior he was young i think the squat in his 
deadlift on here. He just did it just to put a number on the board. Obviously, he wasn't <laughs> maxing out. But, I mean, 545 raw in competition, and he was 22, right? Now we jump up to when he's 26. He has another competition. He weighs 262. He hit 550 opener, 582nd, and misses 620. And this is uh, two years ago now, right? So it's not insane to see that he has gotten to a 700-pound touch-and-go bench or even to say that without the elbow wraps on the 675 that he could probably do completely competition standard 661 or 300 kilograms, right? So absolute beast. But now let me compare him to somebody else with similar strength and... Uh, Hold on, let's just go right here. Oh, he didn't even comment on this. Boom. Daniel Rajov, right? I think this is like the best comparison of uh, bench pressers out there, right? The, I think the best comparison would be Daniel Rajov to Joseph, right? So Daniel Rajov has dealt with many injuries since his prime, right? I'm going to have to make a video on him too, for sure. He's known for his huge shoulder presses, huge bench presses, uh, he squatted like 800 pounds, I think. Absolute monster, right? And But I think the the person that we could compare this most to is uh, Daniel Rajov. And so check this out. 600 pounds or 585 in LA Fitness. And he smokes it. I think they both have uh, not the same style or really similar. But they kind of do like the same thing with the all wraps, the wrist wraps, stuff like that. But no matter what you say... It's it's no joke, right? There's no way that you can make this this guy seem like he's not an absolute tank in a house, right? I believe that they have similar kind of similar training styles going on too, because I also don't think he's got a coach or anything like that. If we go to a 585 smooth single, I mean he's he's been hitting like 585 a lot, but I mean if we go way back, which I don't even know how long that would take, but uh, if, if you go way back, you can find him benching six something. I don't even know. See here, here. This is a little bit of a throwback video. I believe that this was before he got hurt. Uh, how much was it? Six thirty-five, I believe. Is six thirty-five. But I mean, absolute monster, right? And so he's a good comparison to Joseph. But yet again, he weighs upper in the three hundreds, and Joseph's in the two seventies, right, or two sixties. So, I mean, both super impressive guys, but pretty easy comparison there but if we also go to Daniel Rajov we could look him up on open powerlifting I believe he's done a me I'm not a hundred percent sure give me one second here all right Daniel Rajov we look him up on open powerlifting yes he has and so okay this is very old but as you can see he has done a meet this is back when he was like 23 I mean 2017 this seven years ago now but still right his progress isn't unheard of either 457 bench then compared to like 700 ish is what he got up to now not unheard of right so joseph tumorello definitely the real deal there are people like him out there and it is realistic to get to his level right now obviously the genetics are elite everything about him is insane right he, he's he must live for this obviously i mean 660 pound Larson press. This is with no leg drive and a uh, single spider, too. Again, absolute beast, right? So, you need the genetics like crazy. But is he legit? Absolutely. Is it impressive? Absolutely. Could he do 660 pounds in a meet? Absolutely. Maybe more, right? This guy has to be one of the strongest benchers on the planet and nothing more than respect for him. So, here's the lightest 700 pound bencher. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Go ahead, like, comment, subscribe. Let me know who you want me to react to next. And this is Blake when signing out. Peace.